Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on exercise 217 contribution format income statement. We have the exercise um, replicated here to make our work a little bit easier. Be sure you have a calculator, paper, and pencil before we start. Okay, our goal is to take a traditional format income statement here and convert it to the contribution format. That's our requirement for part A. All right, first let's put a heading. This is Mary Smith. We'll call this a contribution income statement. And we don't have a date, so we're just going to say for the last month. All right. So before we start, let's take a look at these numbers. Remember, and I have them highlighted here, the sales revenue and the operating income are going to be the same in either format income statement. The thing that's going to be the difference is the classification of the expenses. Okay, so let's start with our sales revenue. That's going to be the same as it was before. Okay, now our variable costs. Okay, so we have three different kinds of variable costs here. We have cost of goods sold, which is all variable, and then our selling and administrative expenses are mixed. They're part variable and part fixed, so those are going to appear in two different places on our income statement. Okay, so let's put cost of goods sold. That's all variable. Next, we'll put our selling expenses. Our selling expenses are going to be equal to 0.2 or 20% of our total. Our administrative expenses will be 60% variable, so this is going to be equal to 0.6 times our total. Oops, do that again, equals to 0.6 times our total. And then we're going to add those up to get our total variable expenses. Okay, so remember that sales minus variable costs gives you contribution margin. So our contribution margin will be equal to our sales of 50000 minus our variable costs of 34,375. Next we want to list our fixed costs. And remember we have two different fixed costs, the fixed part of our selling expenses and the fixed part of our administrative expenses. So let's do our selling expenses first. 80% of our selling expenses are going to be fixed because 20% are variable. And our administrative expenses are 60% variable, so they are going to be 40% fixed. Our total fixed costs will be equal to these two added together. And finally, our operating income is equal to our contribution margin minus our fixed costs. Okay, so recall that we were going to check that these numbers are the same. The 4425 is the same as before. The 50,000, remember, is the same on either income statement. Okay, so now we're all done with our contribution format income statement. Okay, so next they want to know if Mary sells her cookies for $1.60 each, how many cookies did she sell during the month? Okay, well, if she sold $50,000 worth of cookies, we're going to take the $50,000, divide it by $1.60 each, and we get 31,250 cookies sold during the month. Now, how much is the contribution margin per cookie? Well, let's put some unit amounts up here. You'll find that very often unit amounts are going to be very handy when you're doing contribution margin. Um, exercises. So let's put up here our unit amount. So this is equal to 
a dollar sixty. Okay, and our unit amount here. Remember, we said that we sold thirty-one thousand two hundred and fifty cookies. So this is going to be equal to our total variable expenses divided by the thirty-one two fifty, or a dollar ten. And our contribution margin per unit, you have a choice. You can take this total contribution margin divided by the number of units and you get 50 cents. You could also subtract down. Okay, so now we have our unit amounts and this is going to be equal to 50 cents per cookie. Okay, finally they want to know how much is Mary's contribution margin ratio. So remember the contribution margin ratio is a percentage of sales and we have two different ways of calculating that. We can take our contribution margin in total and divide it by our total sales or we can take our contribution margin per unit and divide it by selling price per unit. Okay, so let's first do it in total. We're going to get the same number both ways. So we'll say equals, that equals the 15,625 and this equals 50,000 and then this is going to be equal to the one divided by the other, 31.25 percent. Okay, we can do the same thing with our unit amounts. So we'll make this equal to our contribution margin per unit. We're going to make this equal to our selling price per unit. And then we're going to say equals the 50 cents divided by the dollar sixty and we get 31.25 percent. Okay, that's the end of exercise 217. I hope you find this video helpful in your studies.